Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. TNT, the I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T, what's good, Joni? Oh, dude, you know, we're Big making baby. podcasts, you did the correct intro on the first time. How you living, man? You doing good? Uh, how you living? What? How you living? What? How you living? What? In living color. Remember that, dude? That was a good show. <laughs> we want to thank you for joining us today on the Crazy Town Podcast. Whether you're joining us live on our no, live, <laughs> we used to be live. Uh, on <laughs> I'm our, alive right now, Jonas. We're live to an audience of two yeah. uh, on our YouTube channel under Crazy Town Media. Make sure you subscribe there. We have a lot of cool stuff, man. Go check it out. Playlists, all oof. Or oof. you're listening to us on audio only here on Spotify, mm. iTunes. Leave us a review. Make everyone else know that we're awesome. I mean, you can lie. It's okay. Uh, follow us on Spotify. We do cool stuff. And this guy, he does Twitch things. If you want to interact with me, TNT Live, <laughs> and possibly Jonas, once we get a strong enough following, oh, I'm on twitch.tv, TNT, D-I-N-O-M-N-G-A-T, underscore crazy town, every day on Twitch at 9 a.m. Central, sometimes dude, a little late, sometimes a little early, but I'm always there. You're a superstar now. Dude, it's crazy how I, many uh, people are in my chat. We... We went in a car. Millions. To go get uh, what? Wendy's breakfast <laughs> yesterday. We're going to tell the Wendy's and, breakfast story? Uh, the lady at the drive-thru was like, hey, aren't you TNT Dynamite? I think I watched you on Twitch. And she was like, oh my God, can I have your autograph? Yeah. And, and then she like, gave you three free breakfast baconators. Yeah, and I told her no, because I don't do autographs. Yeah, you told her 50 bucks. She said, I can give you $50 worth of breakfast foods. I think, <laughs> like, get the, out of my face. I think I would be okay with people recognizing me in the street. Really? But yeah. what if there are people that were haters and they came up and like, you're a fucking asshole. And they like <laughs> spit, spit on you or something. <laughs> that comes with being famous, Jonas. I guess, dude. But I believe that I could take somebody saying, hey, you're, you're a fucking asshole and just be like, well, God bless you, sir. I, that's what I would do. On your journey. I, I'd be like, you are an amazing human. And they'd just be like... <laughs> Excuse me? That I'm does glad, not compute. I'm glad you have this passion. Let's yeah, talk for a while. No, nah, dude. Uh, you know, like, a ma like I don't know. I think I could be all right with it, too. No. Nah. But, like, no, but, like, here's the thing. Like, we take stuff for granted. Like, you know, you hear, like, famous people are like, man, I just want to go to 7-Eleven and get myself a hot dog, dude. That's all I want. And I can't do it because... Everybody's going to run up to me. I got all the social anxiety now. Can't even go out in the parking lot. I mean, I got social anxiety and I'm not famous. So <laughs> I don't really put it past them. <laughs> Very true, dude. If anything, I look at acting or being a, like a musician. It's just a job. Yeah. And like you're still just a person doing that Correct. job. And it just happens that a lot of people imbibe your, your art form, whatever it may be. Yeah, yeah. It's it it is just a job though, and they are just normal people. So you know, I could imagine if like people started like hounding me like I was Britney Spears trying to jump all over my junk, that would be a problematic. Yeah, dude. I could. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You know, on second thought, Jonas, I'd probably be the first one trying to fight somebody like the baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You you be like I wish I wish him up would and then somebody comes up they're just like I hate you and you're like foul. Well, Jonas, this actually fits very well into my first story. And what's great is I didn't even know what it was. So. Speaking of being famous, Jonas. Okay. I want to go back in time, Jonas, to 2007, where a what? Japanese Japanese uh, tech company okay made what they call a voice bank. Okay. So a voice bank is like a. It's kind of like... Is it a soundboard? Okay, let, let's put it in terms you, you can... You remember Garmin's and how they would have, like, voices, and then it would tell you where to go? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this voice bank is in the voice of a Japanese girl. Okay. And it became very popular amongst musicians. Um, and it even had its own name. It was Hitsune Miku. Okay. All right? So Hitsune Miku, the voice... Bank became so popular among musicians that they utilize it for songs. The voice had been used in over twenty two thousand songs at one. Oh, point. like people use like this as like sound bites in yeah. songs, like yeah. like everybody ready, like Basically, you know. It became boom, like boom, boom, boom. yeah, okay, part of their pop culture. It got to the point where uh, 
the voice bank was used in a music media and like even like racing companies they were put, put in porno didn't they <laughs> i know what happens dude it's everybody not, puts stuff in it's not xxx what films <laughs> i mean i'm sure you could probably find it okay because in 2009 she had her first live concert and she was you were given like a uh, basically an avatar that went along with the voice and she's had many more uh, live concerts in Japan. I have heard about them having live like events for things that don't exist, and that like yes. cartoon characters are like giant celebrities. Yes, and they have virtual idols. There's other instances of this, I'm sure, but Hitsoni Maku. Okay, is, can we Miku take just a quick tangent one. on this? Can sure. you, will we be able to hold your spot? Oh uh, yeah, okay. that's fine because that's really all I got to say about Hitsoni Miku anyway. Oh, that's the end of your story. No. Oh. There's oh. More. oh. Okay. So I can't fathom. Being obsessed with a fake thing like that. What do you mean a fake thing? Like, people get obsessed in this country with celebrities, yeah. but they're, like, real people. So at least, like, there's, there's like, a, like, physical hmm. thing that you were, like, attached to. Yet you like Daft Punk. Do I? <laughs> do who I like Daft Punk? Who doesn't like Daft Punk? I mean... I yeah. don't own any of their albums. Yeah, but you know they make good. You know that Daft Punk is... People like Daft Punk, fine. I don't give a fuck if you like them or not, but people like Daft Punk. But they have zero personality. It, they might as well be nobody. Or Deadmau. Thank you. Or Marshmallow. It's just... It's attaching... The music is in and of itself one thing, and then attaching it to the person is not really necessary anymore. Yeah, but dude, like, I I don't know, man. That'd be like Bugs Bunny having virtual concerts. <laughs> no, I mean, not really. Think of it like uh, Metalocalypse did it as well. I don't even know what that is. Metalocalypse was the uh, Adult Swim show where it was a bunch of metalheads and it was a cartoon. Oh, and wait, it was a, and then I've they heard, actually I've heard came, of it. Yep, and then they actually came out with albums coming from that band when it was really just like a group of musicians that were doing the oh, song. Well, I don't think the but, cartoons really played <laughs> But the Metalocalypse, <laughs> honestly, if you haven't heard the Metalocalypse. Is it music, good music? It's actually pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty it's good. It's metal, right? It is metal. Oh, okay. All right. So, I, I, it was just my two cents. Like, I can't yeah. idolize cartoons, dude. I don't even like watching cartoons as a grown I, man. Even, like, adult cartoons. I'm like, eh. I get you. But like I said, there's so many instances of when it comes to, like, at least the music and whatnot, it's like... Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be attached yeah, to Yeah, like Slipknot leaving. is like a bunch of dudes in costumes. Like Guar. They're, they're all real men. Guar were cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> and well, in Slipknot, like, for example, they forever tried to keep their real identities. Yes. Yeah. And they did for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Like, people had, and that would be great. Like, if you were like in a band like that, because you could walk, you would walk into like a, 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 concert of like another band and no one would know that you you're like you're standing there like yeah i'm in slipknot what and no one knows <laughs> and you're just hanging out man as long as my bank account knows right exactly anyway so all right so uh let's fast forward to uh, pr present day a little bit and we're presidente gonna pr present day <laughs> okay and we're gonna talk about project melody uh-oh is this the u.s version no oh. um well kind no okay. no kind no it's different <laughs> Okay. All right, so Project Melody was created by a company uh, or a, a developer named Digit Rev X. Okay. And in she actually does cam girl work. She is the first hentai cam girl. Uh, it is a virtual avatar and she can be seen on Chatterbait and you can tip this so it's like well, <laughs> So you can 3D image of a girl. So is it like um is it like a skin over her body doing like no. she's doing the stuff and it's like you act no. but you don't see her? Okay. No. Cuz I could see that like cuz like that would that would actually probably be genius because like you could be the girl doing all the stuff to yourself but then there's just like a cartoon avatar over that it's like green screen work almost. How is that genius? And though? then you could just like then you don't have to show yourself on cam. <laughs> and like but you get you to like, just make the program do it and then you don't even need the girl oh, i guess so okay anyways so, so yeah. either way project melody started out on ig got a got a big following was doing a lot of uh safer work type of uh just like moving videos i guess right or whatever. right right and then uh 
took her took her talents to Chatterbait and started making bank. Currently has two hundred and forty three thousand followers on Twitter and over a hundred and twenty thousand followers on Chatterbait. So this is a which is a cam website where girls perform for the camera for tips. Cartoon cam girl. Yes. Probably ran by a dude. Some sweaty weebo. <laughs> we, 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 some sweaty weeb just. Is this like him getting weebly. revenge because he like can't like he's like an incel and he's like you know what I'll do? I'll make my own girl. <laughs> dude, I don't know. I don't know who who or what Digit Rev X did, but he's making bank. You know, because he made it and he has proprietary ownership of yeah. Project Melody, as far as I know. She's so. A, Wow, dude. She's like a uh, cartoon sex slave to this man. And all these other dudes are like, yeah. Oh, poor girl. Yeah. She, dude, they're going to make a like a animated movie about this how she like she she becomes uh self-aware and then she's like, "What am I doing? I'm just a sex slave." And then she has to break free from the cam girl chains see, and she becomes like an international renowned singer-songwriter. See, I don't know if if Project Melody's big enough to do that. Though I could see somebody doing a a documentary of some sort about some of these cases. Yeah, yeah. Because there's one more. Oh. The last one is pretty recent. 2016, a company named Brud, B-R-U-D. Oh, dude, is it like that guy with a vagina? <laughs> no, no. 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 They decided to come up with a, they came up with a virtual influencer. So, oh, so basically just like the government. Uh, no. It's more <laughs> like, it's more like a, uh, a hot little young looking racially ambiguous chick racially ambiguous like yeah like she has features from all the races it's hard to tell what you pinpoint what race this cre this creature, creature? it wow. is a creature because it's a freak it's a it's a cartoon dude okay all right her, but her name Taylor's? is michaela or Lil michaela on twitter she has a two over 200k followers on ig and over oh 500 000 follows on tiktok took her pounds to tiktok and just recently, she signed with the CAA. That is the Creative Artist Agent or Agency. Creative Artist Agency. This is the same talent agency that does work for Stephen Colbert, J.J. Abrams, um, Beyonce, and Peyton Manning. Oh, so sick, we are talking about a virtual avatar. That has a talent agency to the point where if it catches on enough, you're going to be seeing movies with Lil Michaela. What is that even a thing for? What is what even a thing for? Why? Because people like to go on her IG and say, ooh, she looks good. I like that. She's dude. hot, dude. Okay. Keep the heat going. I need to look up what Lil Michaela looks <laughs> like. <laughs> no, that's basically the end. I got to see what, what this fake avatar looks like. Oh, so. she? Yeah, it's I called mean, Little Michaela? L I L. And then Michaela spelled with a Q. So it's M I Q U E L A or something like that. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, dude. See, I went in order because Hatsune Miku looks like a freaking cartoon. Project Melody is looks like bad 3D hentai. But Lil Michaela looks so freaking close to human, dude. Oh, my God. That's really weird. It, it yeah. looks like, um. oh, my God. That's. Yeah, but that's why I that's why I told you my topic is Uncanny Valley because as technology advances, man, these virtual avatars are going to look closer and closer to the point where they're almost indistinguishable from a real human. Well, there's a picture here of her with a virtual man yeah. laying in his arms. Yeah. And it looks like it would be a picture that you would see on somebody's Instagram. That's what I'm saying. There, it looks like an American Eagle ad. That's what I'm saying. It looks real. Dude, oh my god. She's like doing her makeup in the me this is weird. So obviously in in the cam girl world, uh they a lot have one of her kissing a woman. Yeah, dude, she's progressive. <laughs> in the cam girl the cam girl instance, some of the cam girls were like, Well, this is kind of bullshit. Maybe they should just put freaking Project Melody on her own site so that guys can just look at anime chicks and tip them money because obviously she's taken Cause, out of our cause pockets. Because they're working their real body and then there's a dude controlling this. Exactly. But what do celebrities do, Jonas, when virtual celebs take over who never have to, who can gain, who never gain weight, who never age? 
who always act perfectly. They yeah, don't say then, the N-word. Well, then, then guess Michaela's what? never going to say the N-word. Well, guess what? Then uh, they'll realize that they think so greatly about themselves and they're not really as awesome as they think. <laughs> but Jonas, they can't take our jobs. <laughs> our celebrity <laughs> jobs. Dude, you know what? Oh. I hope that all celebrities become fake. <laughs> because they're already fake anyways. Wow, man, that's... That's a little overly reductive, but I mean, yeah. Dude, then everyone that's human is equal. So instead of pining after Jennifer Lawrence, you're going to be pining after Lawrence Jennifer, who is fucking, she was created by an IBM studio. <laughs> to... some, <laughs> some, some hairy, sweaty, salami smelling man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and then what? This this is, I don't know, man. It, I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I uh I, it's getting to the point where it's like, really? Well, well, here, well, here's the thing, dude. Like, I have not cared about like celebrity and stuff like that in so long that Fair. it doesn't matter to me anymore. That's like, I feel in well, okay. I feel like that's something that happens a lot when you're younger, but I can't say that's the facts because there's grown ass people who pine over celebrities. That's why the shows like Keeping Up the Kardashians are popular yeah, still yeah. and have been for a decade because people care about that. Why, I'm not sure. Each their own. Whatever. But, like, I couldn't fathom myself giving that much crap about anything, let alone a cartoon that isn't real. <laughs> Why do you keep calling them a cartoon? They're virtual influencers, Jonas. <laughs> I will never refer to anything as an influencer. <laughs> it's a cam even model I, avatar. Even if I was an influencer, I would not refer to myself as an influencer. I think that's the worst <laughs> term ever. I think we kind of are influencers. Are we? Sir. What are we influencing? People that not watch our channel. <laughs> We're tastemakers, dude. We're trying to set the flavors. We're sending trends, dude. <laughs> We're like Trendmaster J, dude. That's <laughs> my new name, dude. I'm not Jonas. I'm Trendmaster J. I like it. Yeah, you're Trendmaster T. No, I don't want to be a Trendmaster. <laughs> Trendmaster TNT. I don't. I refuse to be a Trendmaster. <laughs> J and T Trendmasters. Nope, that's not working. <laughs> that's our new. That's our new podcast name, dude. No, I'm not gonna go with that. Actually, Aww, I vote sad. Nano on the on the docket. I'll go with a shorty, man. So, yeah, Jonas, uh, just be on the lookout, man, because you might be watching a movie with fake actors in it. So. I won't. Shit, I don't I watch know. movies anymore anyway, so. It, it's probably cheaper for them to just pay a fake actor. Oh, absolutely. Than it is. Then I've got to deal with divas, man. Like, like, what do you mean I don't have any popcorn in my trailer? I only need kettle corn with three schmarks sh of sugar on each kernel. I don't know. I just use schmark to measure <laughs> sugar, but... This was, we're gonna outsource all our jobs to robots, dude. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's when they're gonna give us our two grand a month. We're gonna finally made when it. We get our two. You and us two grand a month, dude. It's not happening. <laughs> I mean, why would you not want two grand a month? I by don't, the way, dude, because we're gonna make you pay it back. All right, that's go with okay. Your, go with your story, dude. All right, man. We're from Ohio. Unfortunately. Yeah. Wow. You love Ohio. You always talk so highly of Cleveland. Uh, yeah, because you gotta stick up for your hometown. Ah, uh, that's right. That's, that's like if you got like a family member that's a piece of shit. You gotta be like, no, they all right. <laughs> In your head, you're like, God, they're a piece mm, of shit. Yeah. <laughs> they okay <laughs> i'm allowed to talk shit about them but nobody else right can. and you're like i still won't talk shit about them in public like only with the family will talk <laughs> shit about them everyone else like they're they're not they're not as bad as they seem <laughs> you're like oh god they're such a piece of shit all right dude so uh you know the two football teams in ohio browns and the Bengals. Mm. They're, they're good both of them long time winning mm -mm. historic mm -mm. last 30 years been real productive for both of them mm -mm. uh so in Ohio, they were doing medical marijuana. Okay. And they were allowing people to submit conditions that they felt should be eligible for a prescription of medical marijuana. Oh, I already know how California went down in Cali, so I can only imagine how so it went down in Cleveland. One of the one of the conditions that was submitted for a vote by the whatever entity was voting on was erectile that, dysfunction yes no if you have a cock that doesn't work you should be able to smoke Are weed you no oh, okay. i mean i mean i think that i mean you probably need to if you don't i was just guessing oh uh, no they someone legitimately submitted being a browns or Bengals fan yo as a as a need Facts. To, for a medical marijuana subscription facts 
Yes. Did they get their cards? I don't cards? think so. No. 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 Like, but uh, yeah, they like there was like a form you had to fill out like on the website and stuff, and someone went through all the trouble to fill it out with the petition of like. You know, being a Browns and Bengals fan is hard. It causes a lot of ma- mental anguish and anxiety and whatever. Yeah, oh, they're not wrong. I feel like being a Cleveland sports or being an Ohio sports fan should be on the MDS5, John. It's just- <laughs> should be an actual <laughs> medical condition. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. I think it should. I need, like, therapy. Yeah, for dude. all the years, all the heartbreak, the like all like it's like not only do we de- had to deal with like t- just being plain terrible. Then you have to be deal with the fact that you're that you're good enough to like almost get to the precipice and then fail. <laughs> That's worse than being bad. Are you, are you talking about the Cavaliers and, Every and Michael team. Jordan? Look at the Look at the way. Yeah, dude, I don't know. <laughs> uh but yeah, dude, no, like it's like like the Cavs. Like I mean, granted they did finally come through. Yeah. But yeah. like there was two other, fi- three other finals. They made it and failed. The Indians have been like outs away from a World Series uh, title. A couple times. Watch that series. And, and the Browns, and the Browns, uh, you know, eh, they've been. That was like in the eighties where they had a chance. They have lately <laughs> the had Browns have never just. They just never been good. And see, I, I yeah, and I kind of feel like having a bad sports team for all those years build up a little, just like. You just stop caring, Jonas. Yeah. Well, like, how many you teams sad. have events named like the drive, the fumble, the pitch, the it's like the, the shot? What what they call it when a LeBron changed his mind about staying in Cleveland? The announcement or the, <laughs> the, announcement. the decision or whatever he called it. How how you gotta how why are you gonna go on TV to announce that you're leaving Jonas, your hometown that city, was dude? Literally, like ten years. I still ago. think that was a bad decision. I think he did too. Uh, yeah. Well, you if know. he was staying, that would have been great. <laughs> Were you one of those? You were one of those guys. No, I went over a buddy's house and watched them burn all their no, stuff. No, 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 no. I never no. owned a LeBron thing, dude. Dude, I don't. I have never in my life owned anything LeBron. <laughs> Thousand percent. I remember seeing the pictures of the cardboard cutout. I went of over and watched them fools do it. Who made the cardboard cutout? It wasn't me. It was like, it was one of the guys that was there. Why was that at the party where a bunch of white dudes was burning a black dude with a LeBron James jersey on a bonfire? <laughs> I mean, I felt safe, but I was there. <laughs> I went just to watch them destroy their clothes. At no point in time did you say, hey, guys, maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> I guess I, did. I didn't think of it that way. I didn't either, but. <laughs> yeah. 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 The wrong person would have came through. They would have been like, what the actual fuck is happening? <laughs> a bunch of white guys in the country burning a black man cardboard cutout. Oh, no. I was there, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the dynamite's here. It's yeah, not... that was weird. Why did <laughs> they do that? It was weird. Yeah, dude. I don't know. But uh, there was no hate. It wasn't like no, it wasn't like it wasn't like hate by race. It was if hate. Any... It was hate by deceit. It, yeah, exactly. If anything was the unifying force that brought us together, where we could all enjoy, enjoy burning a black man. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Why's he got to be a black man, dude? I, he was clearly colored brown, dude. <laughs> it was cardboard. They went through the no. They went through the trouble of like painting this Jesus. figure. I remember it, dude. Wow, I've seen the pictures well, since. We're gonna end. We're gonna end <laughs> this one on a good <laughs> note. It was just an avatar. Yeah, right. it was an it was avatar. Just yeah. a virtual avatar. <laughs> all right, everybody. That's all the time we have for today's episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Crazy Town Media. Or uh, if you only listen to us on the audio only version on Spotify, iTunes, etc., please make sure to follow, leave reviews, do all that stuff. But this guy's on Twitch. You should follow him too. Yep, TNT Dynamite, D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town at twitch.tv. I'm on every day at 9 a.m., sometimes a little late, sometimes a little early. Come and hang out with your boy live on <laughs> it's Twitch. It's now become your thing. For Jonas, CNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are over.